Now we turn to the home front. Veterans returning from the front lines are facing a sad and stunning statistic. By one estimate, nearly 50,000 veterans will experience homelessness each year. A new survey of veterans today found that many suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder are not satisfied with the care they're receiving from the Veterans Administration. We turn now to what some military officials call an enduring and pressing emergency, the rise in veteran suicide. Whenever you go through war, you're going to change permanently and totally for the rest of your life. We met with several veterans. First, let us learn what motivated them to join the military. Yeah, I was older, 9-11, 9-11 happened. I was 28 years old. Um, I had a four-year-old son that I didn't want to leave. So I, uh, but I heard the call, you know, I was angry. A lot of other uh, Americans, I mean, there were, there were Vietnam veterans trying to <laughs> go into recruit, recruiting stations, trying to reenlist. December 30th, 1968, uh, a buddy and I joined the Navy and uh, went off to see the world. In 2001, because I was inspired by the minister of my college church to find a way to serve, to find a way to give back um, after all the opportunities I've been given. Next we will find out if they felt pressure and stress during their time in service. Yes, everything is stress. The stress for me was leaving home um, right after we got married. Yeah, all the time. As a, a seaman or, or a private, tough, tough situation, it's hell. Um, when you're getting close to coming home and you don't want anybody messing up and getting killed, you know, those are pretty stressful times. And I feel very fortunate to have, uh, to have come back and um, I've had some post-traumatic stress as I've been able to uh, share publicly, but in general, I'm in good shape and I'm, I have a, a great job where I get to serve uh, the country again. I scream at night in bed and you can't come near me when I'm sleeping because I'll swing at you. Anybody that comes near me and I'm sleeping, right away. And I'm doing the shop and stopping the shop and I'm walking, the aisles and this poor kid about 10 years old comes around the aisle and I'm face to face and I went like this and he, the poor kid, he got so scared. <laughs> it's all in stress. How did their time in the military affect their life today? It made all the difference in the world. It made me who I am today. I'm a soldier forever. That's how I live. That's where I run everything. So. It was, was what was instilled in me was to, even if I get knocked down, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna keep going forward. We asked our vets what they think are the biggest issues for veterans. I think people have, have kind of left the vets behind. You know, the vets, uh, we kind of have to fend for it. And I'm not even talking about myself. I'm talking about the older vets, like the Vietnam vets. They, they've kind of, they're lost and the system doesn't really try to help them. The biggest issue for veterans is that the country makes you a promise that if you put your life on the line for America, we'll take care of you when you get home. And that promise has not been fulfilled. You've probably heard the 22 a day veteran suicide rate. It's actually higher than that. It's probably much higher than that. And the million dollar question is, how do you, how do you stop it? Lastly, we ask our veterans if they would do it all over again. If I could have never left, I'd still be there. Yes, I would. Absolutely. But you definitely get to travel. You get to see some things that people never get to see. I mean, I've got to fire weapon systems that you see in movies. Oh, yeah, in a heartbeat. Not, no question about it. I'm there. I would not be a member of Congress um, without my experience in the Marines. There's no question in my mind. It was my experience in the Marines that motivated me to run in the first place. And I love having a job now uh, where I can make a difference in people's lives. Um, but I had that job before, and I often tell people that being a member of Congress is a great honor, but it's the second best job I've ever had. <laughs>